Good afternoon, everyone. I know that there are a lot of intense emotions going on today and within the last 24, 48 hours or so, things have been fairly tense and on edge. Um, and I just wanted to give this opportunity of prayer today. Normally on the days when I do this time of prayer and meditation, I read some scripture and then I follow it up with my own take on the scripture, my own message, and then a time of prayer. But even myself, I've also been um, processing as much as everyone else has in the last few days. So rather than what we normally do, I've instead um, looked into the Book of Common Prayer and into the United Methodist hymnal, and I have a collection of different scriptures and prayers to share that I just hope that they offer you the sense of calm and peace that they're bringing to me today. So the first thing that I will read to you is from Psalm 119, verses 105 through 112. Your word is a lantern to my feet and a light upon my path. I have sworn and am determined to keep your righteous judgments. I am deeply troubled. Preserve my life, O Lord, according to your word. Accept, O Lord, the willing tribute of my lips and teach me your judgments. My life is always in my hand, yet I do not forget your law. The wicked have set a trap for me but I have not strayed from your commandments. Your decrees are my inheritance forever. Truly, they are the joy of my heart. I have applied my heart to fulfill your statutes forever and to the end. Moving into Psalm 121, verses 1 through 8. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where is my help to come? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved, and he who watches over you will not fall asleep. Behold, he who keeps watch over Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord himself watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand, so that the sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. It is he who shall keep you safe. The Lord shall watch over your going out and your coming in. From this time forth forevermore. Um. I end this with the Lord of God has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. Romans 5.5 5. And I also read for you this collect from the Book of Common Prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I give to you, my peace 
I leave with you. Regard not our sins, but the faith of your church, and give to us the peace and unity of the heavenly city, where with the Father and the Holy Spirit you live and reign now and forever. Amen. And I would also like to, at this time, share with you the Litany for Christian Unity, which comes from the United Methodist Hymnal number 556. Let us ask the Lord to strengthen in all Christians faith in Christ, the Savior of the world. Listen to us, O Lord. Let us ask the Lord to sustain and guide Christians with his gifts along the way to full unity. Listen to us, O Lord. Let us ask the Lord for the gift of unity and peace for the world. Listen to us, O Lord. Let us pray. We ask you, O Lord, for the gifts of your spirit. Enable us to penetrate the depth of the whole truth and grant that we may share with others the goods you have put at our disposal. Teach us to overcome divisions. Send us your spirit to lead to full unity your sons and daughters in full charity. In obedience to your will, through Christ our Lord. Amen. If you didn't notice, the theme to all these texts is the idea of peace and unity. No matter what this election outcome may be, it doesn't matter. We continue to be the body of Christ on earth, and no division should allow us to separate upon that. We have to come together as a people of God, as a people created in the image of God, and stand up to hatred, to stand up against violence, and stand up against injustice. It's not our job to decide who's right and who's wrong. What we need to decide is where is the righteous action? Where is God leading us? And how can we continue to live into God's message? Thank you so much for everyone that is listening now or will listen to this in the future. I hope that this message has granted you some um, possibility of hope throughout this very divisive, very nerve-wracking time. I will continue to pray for both this community and for the United States and for all those that are currently being affected. Thank you so much and have a wonderful and blessed day.